Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. When new partner is admitted, there is need to consider treatment of goodwill. Sometime goodwill is given in old balance sheet. It is revalued and finally it is written off. How to give effect to such adjustment? That will be understanding in this question. Let us go through the question. Amar and Akbar sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 5 is to 3. That is 5 by 8 and 3 by 8. They had the following balance sheet as on 31st March 2012. Capital account of Amar Akbar. This will be recorded to the credit of capital account by balance brought down. General reserve, it will be divided among old partners in the ratio of 5 is to 3. 56,000 is general reserve amount. 35,000 will be given to Amar and 21,000 to Akbar. That is in the ratio of 5 is to 3. Bills payable, creditors. As I said, we already have goodwill here, 60,000. Building 68,000, plant 54,000, furniture 8,000, debtors 65,000, bills receivable 30,000, stock 45,000, bank balance 22,000. On 1st April 2012, they decided to admit Anthony into partnership by giving him one-fifth share in future profits. He brings in rupees 1 lakh as capital. For this 1 lakh, bank account will be debited and Anthony's capital account will be credited. The partner decided to revalue the assets as follows. Goodwill 1 lakh, plant 50,000. Debtors 62,000, stock 65,000, building 80,000, furniture 4,000, and bills receivable 25,000. There is adjustment on every asset, so we have marked all the assets. The partner also decided not to show goodwill in the books of new firm. That means this goodwill, which is revalued at 1 lakh will be a return off. Let us first point out new profit sharing ratio. On 1st April, Anthony is admitted for one fifth share. Amar and Akbar were sharing profits in the ratio of 5 is to 3. Step 1, find balance of 1. That is 1 minus new partner's share. Here Anthony is admitted for one fifth share. So 1 minus one fifth. That is 4 fifth we got. That is balance of 1. Step 2. Find new share of old partners. Formula is balance of 1 multiplied by their old share. Share of Amar 20 by 40. Share of Akbar 12 by 40. If entire profit is divided into 40 parts. 20 parts will be given to Amar. Out of 40 parts, 12 parts will be given to Akbar. Out of 40, 12 parts to Out of 40, 20 parts to Amar, 12 parts to Akbar. Balance remains now 8 parts. Those 8 parts will be given to Anthony. So share of Anthony will be 8 by 40. 8 by 40 is same as 1 by 5. That is a new partner's share. So we can say that new profit sharing ratio is 20 is to 12 is to 8. We can simplify this. That is 5 is to 3 is to 2. 
we have calculated new profit sharing ratio let us understand adjustment of goodwill value of goodwill is given in balance sheet itself 60000 they say that goodwill is revalued revalued amount is given 1 lakh it means goodwill is increased by 40000 this 40000 we can directly credit to old partners to give them benefit of increase in goodwill goodwill account debit 40000 to amar's capital account 25000 to akbar's capital account 15000 here appreciation in goodwill is credited between amar and akbar the partner decided not to show goodwill in the books of the new firm so goodwill will be now written off while writing of goodwill it has to be written off among all partners so we are required to use new ratio that is 5 is to 3 is to 2 for writing of goodwill this will be the entry amar's capital account debit 50000 akbar's capital account debit 30000 anthony's capital account debit 20000 to goodwill account 1 lakh let us start doing postings on liability side we have capitals of amar and akbar 1 lakh 60000 and 80000 these will be credited to their capital accounts by balance brought down amar 1 lakh 60000 akbar 80000 general reserve 56000 it will be divided among old partners in the old ratio that is 5 is to 3 56000 will be divided between amar and akbar as 35000 and 21000 partners capital account credit by general reserve account amar 35000 akbar 21000 next is bills payable 16000 there is no adjustment on bills payable it will be recorded in new balance sheet on asset side balance sheet liability side bills payable 16000 next creditors there is no adjustment on creditors creditors will be recorded in new balance sheet on liability side new balance sheet liability side creditors 40000 on asset side we have goodwill 60000 goodwill is revalued and then return off so there are two adjustments on goodwill so goodwill is 60000 next we have building there is adjustment on building building 68000 plant 54000 furniture 8000 debtors 65000 bills receivable 30000 stock 45000 bank 22000 on asset side opening balance of bank is recorded here in bracket let us start with the adjustments on 1st april 2012 they decided to admit anthony into partnership by giving him one fifth share in future profits he brings one lakh as his capital so one lakh amount is received so one effect will be in bank account on asset side we have bank opening balance is 22000 here we add 1 lakh which is received from anthony towards his capital this will have another effect in anthony's capital account credit side by bank amount received 1 lakh the partner decided to revalue the assets as follows goodwill at rupees 1 lakh this will be added here on asset side that there is increase of 40000 so now goodwill becomes revalued amount 1 lakh this 40000 will be credited to partners capital account goodwill account debit 40000 to amar's capital account 25000 to akbar's capital account 15000 that is distributed in their old ratio partners capital account credit by goodwill amar 25000 akbar 15000 plant 50000 here book value of plant is 54000 so it will be reduced 
decrease by 4000. So revised value of plant is 50,000 now. This 4000 will have second effect. Revaluation account debit. Revaluation account debit to plant 4000. Next we have daters 62,000. Book value of daters is 65,000. Daters 65,000 revalued at 64,000. That means there is decrease by 1000. This 1000 will be recorded then to debit of revaluation account. Revaluation account debit to daters 1000. Stock 65,000. Stock here we have 45,000. New value 65,000. So there is an increase of 20,000. This 20,000 will have another effect in revaluation account credit side. Revaluation account credit side by stock 20,000. Building 80,000. Asset side building we have 68,000. We'll make it 80,000. So there is increase by 12,000. This 12,000 will have second effect. Revaluation account credit by building 12,000. Next we have furniture 4,000. Old value of furniture is 8,000. Let's decrease 4,000. So revalued at 4,000. This 4,000 will have second effect. Revaluation account debit. A revaluation account debit to furniture 4000. Next we have bills receivable revalued at 25,000. Bill receivable 30,000 revalued at 25,000. It has got decreased by 5000. Revaluation account debit to bills receivable 5000. Partner decided not to show goodwill in the books of the new firm. For revaluation of goodwill, our entry is goodwill account debit to Amar's capital to Akbar's capital. Goodwill account debit to Amar's capital account to Akbar's capital account. Goodwill account debit 40,000 to Amar's capital account 25,000 to Akbar's capital account 15,000. This is for goodwill revalued. For goodwill return of entry will be Amar's capital account debit 50,000, Akbar's capital account debit 30,000, Anthony's capital account debit 20,000 to goodwill account 1 lakh. Goodwill account credit side. Goodwill account credited by Amar's capital, by Akbar's capital, by Anthony's capital. Partner's capital account will be accordingly debited. Partner's capital account will be accordingly debited. Partner's capital account debit to goodwill. Amar 50,000, Akbar 30,000, Anthony 20,000. Here goodwill account gets closed. That means goodwill will not be there in new balance sheet. Now we can close revaluation account. Revaluation account is closed. We are getting profit of 18,000. This will be distributed between old partner Amar and Akbar in old ratio 5 is to 3. Amar will get 11,250 and Akbar 6,750. Revaluation profit transfer to partner's capital account credit side by revaluation account. Amar 11,250. Akbar 6750. Now we can close partner's capital account. After closing of partner's capital, we got balancing figures on debit side. Amar 181,250. Akbar 92,750. Anthony 80,000. These will be transferred to the liability side of balance sheet. Balance sheet liability side. Capital of Amar 181,250, Akbar 92,750, Anthony 80,000. On asset side, we have taken bank balance that is opening 22,000 plus 1 lakh, it is 1 lakh 22,000. Now we can close balance sheet. Here we got total of assets 4 lakh 10,000, total liabilities are also 4 lakh 10,000. That means our balance sheet is tally. In this question, we learn a unique adjustment where goodwill already appears in old balance sheet. We can open goodwill account that will be recorded as opening balance. As per adjustment, goodwill is increased, revalued by 40,000. That 40,000 we have distributed among old partners in old ratio. Then finally, adjustment says goodwill is to be written off. 
that will be written off against capitals of all partners. So we need to calculate a new profit sharing ratio. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda. Subscribe our channel Ikeda. Thank you.